Before Club Penguin opened, one of the island's residents was a wannabe pirate named Rockhopper. He felt the sea calling out to him, so he spent many months building his own ship. On March 8, 2005, he set out to the sea for the first time, leaving his friends behind. He planned to return in a month, but that all changed on March 14th when a ferocious storm blew him off course. With most of his supplies washed overboard, he tried returning to Club Penguin early. Unfortunately, he couldn't find his home anywhere. The only land he could find was a small island full of clean water and fruit trees. He searched the sea for months, but kept ending up at the same small island. On May 27th, he decided to claim it as his own, dubbing the place Rockhopper Island. He used it as his home away from home, while he continued to search the sea for Club Penguin. On June 9th, Rockhopper discovered a strange new species, one which had been rumored on Club Penguin before he left. The creature was a small red ball of fluff. He named the creature Yar, and took him along on his voyage. Sadly, they stayed lost at sea for many more months. Of course, it wasn't without its adventures. Sometime in December, Rockhopper and Yar rescued a large group of surfboards from a giant sea cucumber. They stored the boards in the ship's cargo, filling it up entirely. With no room left, they decided to unload on Rockhopper Island and set a direct course straight there. On the way, Rockhopper noticed Yar was very keen on the surfboards. He told Yar to keep one for himself so he could surf by the ship whenever he wanted. By December 18th, they were almost back to Rockhopper Island. The winds were restless in their sails, and the sprays of seawater were cold as ice. But Rockhopper wasn't bothered. His beard protected his face from the wind and water. He found it to be a fine day for sailing. However, his heart hung heavy. By now, he was feeling very homesick. It had been nine months since he'd last seen Club Penguin, and he feared he might never see it again. Christmas was only a week away, and Rockhopper realized it'd be his first time spending it away from home. His thoughts were interrupted when Yar spotted Rockhopper Island in the distance. They planned to arrive before nightfall, and not long after, Rockhopper spotted the island's volcano mountain sticking out of the ocean. He steered straight for a hidden spot that led to a secret cave. Meanwhile, Yar grabbed a surfboard from the ship hold. He leaped overboard and surfed alongside the ship. Rockhopper navigated through treacherous reefs and rocks and sailed to his hidden spot. Lit by the glow of volcano lava, he followed the path into his cave and dropped anchor. However, Rockhopper was shocked to find that the pile of gold he collected was gone. When he swung onto shore, he discovered a trail of golden doubloons on the ground. Going alone, he followed the trail through jungles, bogs, and a rainforest, filling his hat as he went. Eventually, the trail led to a beach. There, he discovered hundreds of red furballs playing with his gold. They seemed to mistake his treasure for toys. Rockhopper was shocked. He had no idea other furballs were living on his island. He quickly confronted the creatures, scaring them off into the bushes. He gathered up all his gold, but there was too much to carry. Rockhopper brought all he could to his cave, and boarded the ship with Yar to retrieve the rest. They sailed to the beach and dropped anchor. His pile of gold was still there, untouched. He and Yar boarded their lifeboat and rowed to shore. Once there, Rockhopper began filling the boat, but he noticed Yar wasn't helping. Instead, he was staring at the fur balls in the bushes. When Rockhopper saw them, they quickly disappeared. Rockhopper urged Yar, and they returned to the ship to unload. However, Yar immediately disappeared below deck. After a few minutes, he returned with some surfboards, begging Rockhopper to spare some for the other creatures. Rockhopper resisted. He saw no reason to show the thieves goodwill. But Yar nudged a calendar towards him. Christmas Day was circled, only a week away. Rockhopper smiled, and finally budged. He happily asked Yar to help haul the boards to shore. On land, Yar called out to the creatures. The whole herd bounced out to inspect the boards. They were so excited. Yar taught them all to surf, while Rockhopper unloaded a few barrels of cream soda to celebrate. Though he still missed Club Penguin, his celebration with the furballs made for a Christmas that he would never forget.